Live stream is starting. So live stream is starting. Why does it say it's already been doing something for one hour? <laughs> Hello, hi, and welcome. <clears throat> I hope you can hear me. I hope you can see me. Um, yeah, I can already see some uh, some discussions there in the chat. I don't think that this would be practi uh, practical as an HMI as a SCADA system. No, I don't think I don't think you would use it as a SCADA thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure Siemens is developing something in that direction using um, NX. So the official Siemens uh, digital twin, digital factory, as they call it, DF, um, is uh, div it is under development. I've seen a couple of those things in reality. Um, if it's practicable, who knows? It will. We will. The future will tell. Uh, but this is just for learning. This is just for playing around. And I have made some adjustments. And today we are going to look at way more things. So I can see my stream, so that should be fine. My hair, just like like in this quarantine. Hello, everyone, just by the way. <laughs> in this quarantine, my hair grows longer and longer. I, I probably should go to the hairdresser at some point. But why would I go outside? The world is a dangerous place. Good. So uh, what, what do we have? Let, uh, wait, let, one second. Let me just uh, build this. Let, let's just... Let's just look at the software. Let's look at what we are planning to do today. Uh, because there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. So here we go. Um, this is how I'm building it. Like there's just this build button. And after I build it, it is a finished software. It goes from my program to this finished software from Unity to a program that can run on its own. This always takes like a minute or so. Um, just because my PC is pretty strong. <laughs> oh, it's not that strong anymore. I probably should get some more, some new components, but it's still okay-ish. There we go, got it. So that's how the software looks like, right? You know it, there we go. Factory simulator starting up. And just made some adjustments because there were some problems, like especially in the settings here. Mm. We can now really choose. Do you want the physical P uh, PLC or the PLC ZIM? Because there are some issues with PLC ZIM with the um, driver there. So I made some adjustments there. Uh, not finished yet. Not finished yet, but I definitely made a lot of adjustments here. Um, I do not want to use PLC ZIM right now. I have a physical PLC connected, so I'll choose this. I'll just type in the IP address of it. Uh, wait, no. That's the IP I gave it. I save it. I ping it. Perfect. <clears throat> but it already runs way better with um, what was it called? The Nets2 PLC ZIM. It now runs also with PLC ZIM, which is fine. Um, so what we have is this mixing system, right? I'm fine with this for now. Of course, I would still change it. I would still improve it. I'll still make a lot of adjustments to it and improvements, right? You can see blue, 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 blue. Can play around with this that's pretty cool um but today we actually want to look into the next station after this like the, as i planned it um if i go back to my main menu here there's gonna be systems and they are all you can interconnect them like there's this mixing tank right now that mixes a liquid the next station should be a bottle filling line like a bottle filling line where this liquid actually gets filled in and today we're gonna start with that uh, with that system and therefore i have basically taken a random image of a bottle filling line from the internet i made some research i have a couple um, but that's one i liked like there's a conveyor here in the center right this conveyor where bottles are on uh you have a little panel don't think i'm gonna need that and we have like those valves that open and close and fill in liquid this whole sh this whole thing here can go up and down right so if there's bottles down there this goes down fills in liquid, once it's done, goes back up, conveyor goes on. And that's all stuff, like I'm not gonna finish all of this today, obviously, because that's quite a lot, but I wanna start with it. And then you can, in the end, I want I want to be able to hook those systems together. Somehow, somehow they need to go together. So there's a tank here in the end, in the back, and that needs to be filled from the tank system that we have created, right? From the mixing tank. Um, and there's also a conveyor here in the front. That conveyor gets connected to the conveyor system that we already have. So there's a lot of 
things interconnected. But we're looking at those system by system by system by system. And in the end, it's going to all go together. That's the idea here. Good. <clears throat> As you can see, <laughs> oh, isn't that beautiful? I already started making that system. <laughs> I already started like creating this frame. Uh, that's a bottle. <laughs> I, as I said, I made some research. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's the bottle. Um, but that's the that's like the frame. That's the. Do you see it? There's this box down here, this box, and there's this conveyor here, the conveyor there. There's the tank, the tank. Um, so I'm just taking this as like a blueprint to copy from it and I'm creating this in um, Blender. Let me hit this button, that's annoying. So I'm creating this in Blender here, right? Uh, how did this work? Uh, like this. Right. So that thing is one thing I want to change and improve a little bit today because, well, it's not finished. It doesn't look exactly like this, which I actually have here in the background to um, actually as like a blueprint copy and paste thingy. I don't know how to call it. Just by the way, in the chat, someone say hi. I don't see anything in the chat. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Cause now I'm, I don't know. I, I always don't know if the stream really works or anything. Incorrect time was, yeah, I'm sorry. Now I see it. Why doesn't my chat? I'm, I'm a small YouTube channel, so I can rant about YouTube. <laughs> okay, good. Um, YouTube streaming is bad. Like, they, they try to improve it every once in a while, but the YouTube streaming studio is terrible. Like, it crashes, it has bugs. Like, I, I put the time. Like, today I put... Can, yeah, that's fine. I put the time correct. I put the time here correct. There is somewhere I can set the time and stuff, um, which I can't because I'm already online. And it just has the wrong timing. It was set to like five, six hours, something, five hours to the future, which I didn't know. It didn't even tell me. So my so my fiance, she she told me, hey, why are you streaming today in the uh, in the night? And I was like, no, I'm streaming at six thirty in the evening. And she was like, no, you're not. <laughs> uh, I don't like that. <sighs> Yeah, that's just one of the bugs. And I don't know why it does that. It's such a buggy system. Um, and I'm not the only one with the issues. Like if I would be the only one that, well, that would be probably my mistake, but I'm not. So that's our blueprint back there. So I'm just gonna put it here. So it looks approximately like that. Uh, what I want to add is this little thing here, like the slide up there that has all the things that go into the bottles, right? So we're quickly going to do this and then we're going to program a little bit in um, Unity. So uh, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Vost. I'm so sorry for you. It is 7 p.m. here. Like it is already late in the evening. So uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you, you, can, you can watch me while working. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so what do we need to do? We need to actually make this little uh, slide thingy there. Let's see this little slide. There. Nah, I can't see it. There's a little slide up there and uh, let's do it. That should be pretty easy. I just take this area that I already have. I'll make an indent. Boop. You see this? I can just grab it and make a new like area. That's the one I'm going to take. I'm going to rescale it a bit. So it looks like that. Gonna grab it, put it up a little bit. It goes somewhere there. That looks nice, a little bit lower. <clears throat> sure, off topic's fine. <clears throat> and now we just need to create that slide. I'm not gonna finish the 3D model today or anything, but I wanna at least have the main components that I want. So what I want to do is I basically want to grab that little layer there and pull it out, like like pull it out and make it a slide. And I can do that with making an extrusion, called, uh, pressing E. You can see if I press E, I'm just taking that thing out, making an extrusion. And there we go, got the extrusion here. I will make the same with both sides. You see it goes a little bit 
like if you see here it goes a little bit to the left and to the right i will just make it so it's right there at the end positions so i'll take it hit e make it like maybe 20 centimeters i can just type 0 0.2 which is 20 centimeters i'll do it on the other side here as well e 0 0.2 done right. and now i have this little slide that should be able to go up and down <laughs> I actually don't know how exactly that works, Voz. I'm sorry. <laughs> Might be a good idea. I would have to look into it as well. <clears throat> so now I should grab these and I'll make these um, a separate object. Right? So it can go up and down. Keep running 7.4 and transfer. It is. It is a lot of work. Yes, that's why I usually recommend not doing it. <clears throat> so we need all of these as separate. Uh, I need to separately. Uh, click. Need to click on all of them. Click, 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 click. Tech talks. I don't really. I. I. I don't spend much time. I spend time learning, of course, but I don't spend much time lately. So what I want to do with all this is I want to make a, a new object out of it because right now it belongs to the main body. So it can't move separate from the main body. But in with Tia, of course, this should go up and down, um, putting all the little things in the bottles. Uh, so I need to do something. Uh, select. Uh, no, where is it? Uh, mesh and separate, separate by selection. So now this is a separate object. See, I can't select it anymore because it belongs to another object. It's cube 001 now. I'll call it slide. So let's go to object mode. This is the slide. I can just grab it and you see it floats around. A little bit of a problem is it is empty, you see. <laughs> I, it's empty, which doesn't really matter, but that hole, that matters. I'll put it right back there. I'll, I'll get rid of this little hole, so the slide needs to go away. You see, and there's also something wrong here. Yeah, so we need to close that hole, which is actually a, a nice thing. We could look into the device, but nah, let's not do that. So I'll just grab these four, I'll delete these faces, and I'll just actually make this and make a new face. So now this is a complete area again, and we can simply get back to the slide. I'll actually do the same there. Oh, I made the feet separate objects, yeah. And I'll do the same here on this device. Actually, it's kind of annoying that it's now different rails. I'll make all of these one rail. Uh, face selection there, you can go away. I'll select all these, Boop. F for a new face. And I can just delete these. If I delete the vertices, vertices are those little dots. You see there's a problem with it because it's going to delete all the connections that are there. So I'm going to dissolve them, which is also not the right thing. I'm going to, I think it's edge collapse. No, edge loop, limited dissolve. That's what I want to do. And I'll do the same here. So now it's one, it's just a bar. Basically we built this bar, but now it fits there on the cube thingy and this is this should be able to go up and down let's just give it a different material <clears throat> let's call it bar uh, slide and this should be able to go up and down uh, i'll make this i don't know for now a bluish bluish should be fine why is it not bluish because we're not in color mode there we go and that should go up and down, up and down. Should be pretty simple. So if I save now, that should already be in here. I should, that should have changed here. Why is it sitting around? Stop, stop laying around, buddy. Um, it always just does that because the 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 coordinate the 
coordinate systems, yeah, they are different. X is Y and uh, Y is X. Uh, no, X is... No, Y, they're different. <laughs> they're just different. You see, that is a slight problem right here, which we could do... I don't know, actually. I don't know why it flipped. Z, Z and Y, yes, Z and Y, they're flipped. <laughs> Which is kind of annoying. Um, here we go. Prefab. No, not prefab. A blender bottle filling machine. There we have the bottle filling. I don't know why this works now. Sure. Well, I asked. I actually asked at C Train. I don't have a signature or anything, but I asked at C Train and they said, sure, do it. I don't care. I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, they're public. So, yeah. Just do it. That's perfectly fine, yeah. There's even, I don't know from where, from Saudi Arabia, someone said, um, he asked if he can translate my videos. It was quite funny. Uh, so we got this. Let's put this a collision mesh collider. And now I cannot run into it anymore. I don't know why it flipped. What? Waiting for 10k. Yeah, that should be pretty soon, actually. Where's the collider? Something is messed up here. But it's okay. If I can't run into it right now, that's perfectly fine. Wait, it doesn't have a mesh. Where did the mesh go? What? Oh, I put it in the wrong place. Right, right, right. Yeah, I know, exactly. There, there's the Y. Here the Y shows to the top and the Y in Blender shows to the back and the Z shows to the top, which is kind of annoying. Um, but it actually automatically flips it sometimes, but I haven't really realized when it does that. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So this one has this cube. Oh yeah, that's the right one. This will get a mesh collider and now I can't run into it anymore. <laughs> sure was that, that'd be cool. <laughs> so now what we need to do is that a little blue thing. I mean, I can just manually take it now and put it down up and down. Uh, which is Z here. Whoops, no, it's not Z, it's Y. And uh, I don't know why it is here like like this. I want to be able to do this with with a PLC, right? This should happen using a PLC, which is not too difficult to achieve. We just need some script. We just need a script. Um, so here we go. I'll put take this, I'll add a script, I'll call this model filling. Slider. <clears throat> Sorry that I'm just doing <laughs> all the time, but somehow my throat today, man, is killing me. <clears throat> Here we go. Why is that down there? I don't care. So, um, yeah. And in this, we need to basically move up and down. That's it. <laughs> so it's nothing really um, difficult. So there we have it. There we have the code. So I'll need to make some code in it. Um, and therefore, I'll just copy what I already have because I have um, cylinders. And the cylinders, they already do exactly that. Um, because usually this is controlled with a, with a pneumatic cylinder. Um, let me just find the script that I have and I'll just copy and paste because I'm lazy. Actuate uh, double acting cylinder, there it is. There we have the code of the cylinder, which is not too difficult to understand, I hope, because I haven't looked at it in a long time, actually. <clears throat> da, da, da. Da, da, sorry, cell phone. Uh, yeah, so I'll just copy and paste from this code. You don't need to see it. Uh, what we need is, in the end, what we need is a PLC output, right? So a script, another script that is PLC output, and there we have this. I'll just call it PLC output. 
Um, and now we could, no, that's just one PLC output that extends it and there is no that none that will retract it for now. There will be more probably, but if that is active, it will go down. If it is not active, it will go up, right? Then it makes sense to have a so-called stroke, which is the distance that it can go down. The speed is always nice, so we can adjust how fast it is. <clears throat> and then we've got these two, which are the positions. Like a vector is always three-dimensional. It's always a dot in our coordinate system, three dimensions. So this is where, where does it need to go and where does it need to go back? <laughs> Best PLC teacher in the world. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm probably not. I know a lot of people that do it way better than me, but thank you. <laughs> so what we need to do, I think there's, there's some more things that we might need. Oh, wait. Um, oh, there's, there's some more things that we might need, but um, that's it for now. I think I'll take one more from there. I'll take one that is extend. Like if this is active, it means we're extending or um, going down. Uh, now let's say extend, extend is fine because it's a cylinder. If this is active, this thing will go down. If this is not active, this thing will go up. Um, yeah, what we need to do is the following. I've got this in the start. So at the first time this is actually run. So really at the start, we are storing that position that it has right now which is transform local position. That is the position of the slide in the beginning. That is where it needs to go back, right? <clears throat> the retracted vector, like that start vector. Uh, I will definitely also keep that record on my channel. I haven't deleted, I have probably deleted one or two videos, but that were all gaming stuff. And we also need to see where does the, um, where does the movement end? And that is our vector that we have, like the start position. <clears throat> uh, the start position is defined with these, right? Um, oh no, that's just how far will we move from that position later on. Right? So it's basically, we're just moving in one direction, which is the stroke, uh, which is X in our case, depends on in the room where we want to move. Uh, I think we want to move on the, what direction is it actually? If we look at this component here, if I look at this and we look at this, then we see where we want to go, which direction do we want to move? And that's the green arrow. If we see the green arrow up here, that's the uh, that's the Y axis. So we want to move on the Y axis, which is actually then X, Y, Z. So X, Y, Z, like this. X doesn't change, Y does change, Z doesn't change. That's what we have. I thought about Udemy, um, but I was way too lazy. I'm still thinking like every every other day I'm thinking about making a Udemy course. <clears throat> but I actually want to, if I want to make a Udemy course, um, uh, I want to make it with my software actually. So I want to make my software in a nice state so I can offer it and use it for the training. And then the training would be to completely program a machine or something like that. And not like my videos right now on YouTube, they are basically all independent from each other. There are always one topic and then you can choose another video, totally different topic. They're separate from each other. Udemy course, I would make maybe 30 videos and they're all built up on each other. And therefore I need a machine and that's what I'm creating now. <laughs> um, so the content wouldn't be different, but the organization, how you learn would be different because it would be a course. Of course, that's how it works. <clears throat> yeah, sorry that my voice, why, why is my voice doing that? I don't like it. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's that's what we have. Now, What all that we need to do is basically we need to say, hey, how does the movement, what is the movement going to be? <laughs> um, and that is basically the following. I'm just copying from my other script, right? <laughs> 
hey, they are kind of organized. I'm way too lazy. It's a hobby. <laughs> I, I understand what you say, but they're a hobby. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have someone to talk to. That's perfect. <laughs> the only problem is, shouldn't you be working? Didn't you just say you were working? <laughs> um, here we go. Why is that? Uh, wait, there is one of these missing. Something's wrong. Why is that? Oh, no, don't do this. That. Come back. Come back here. Why is everything wrong? That's no, okay. Um, so if extend, so if, if we have this extend bit up here, if that is active, that means I want to move, right? And I want to move, uh, looks like this. Yeah, that's a bit complicated. Looks like this. <laughs> I know it looks a bit strange right now. Transform local position. That is basically where are we right now? Move towards means go to another position. And to which position? Uh, that is where we start. This is where we want to end. And that is the speed we want to move with. The only thing that's missing is this step, uh, speed step, which... Hey, that's wrong that I did what I did there in the other script, but that's okay. Um, now this is okay. Speed step should be the speed at which we're moving between every step because every PC is a little bit different, uh, has different speed. It's differently fast. Mine is pretty fast. Uh, so my cylinder would move faster, but that is not something I would like to do. So I'll need to take you a fixed update. Not fixed, fixed update. You are subscribed with the first thousand. <laughs> I know. I try to organize it in like um, in like playlists and stuff, but ah, well, that uh, that is a hassle, you know. It's kind of it's annoying. <laughs> I gotta say, it is just annoying for a hobby. Like I can I can show you my studio, how my studio looks like. Like that. I can I can show it, that's fine. Um how many videos do I have on that channel? I don't even know how many videos I have. How do how do I how can I check that? I don't know. I don't even know. I'm I'm so bad with the organization here. I'm so bad. <laughs> Because it is a hobby, it, 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 or it started as a hobby. Right now, I'm making some money out of it, but it's still a hobby. Like, like I have, I have got playlists on topics, right? So it is kind of organized. And I have, where's my Tia Portal playlist? Tia Portal, 116 videos in the Tia Portal playlist. There is so much, so many videos. <laughs> hey, hey, Kus, I no, you've been there already. Around 140, yeah, around 140. Um, that's just too much. I also have the gaming stuff. I should probably separate it, but I'm way too lazy. It's just a hobby channel. It's just hobby. <laughs> uh, good question. Good question, Conrad. Uh, very good question. Um, because it is a hobby. This is a hobby channel. You know, it's a hobby channel. And I try to learn those. I taught... Like, I, I learned Unity Blender and Visual Studio. Like, I just learned those two months ago, maybe three. So now I'm I'm, I'm just doing those. Because <laughs> I was interested in it. And that's how it should be. <clears throat> but that was a good, that, that's a good question. Because it's just random. It's just really random. Um, I always wanted to create, like, a software that is uh, like Factory I.O., but at least cheaper even if it if it would be better in the end that'd be awesome but at least cheaper and easier to use for students because factory io for me is not um as a student or when i was new with plcs and stuff it was already no, not new but it was already out a couple of years ago um it was too complicated for me there was so much stuff and i tried to keep my software pretty simple pretty easy to use and that's why I thought, how do I do it? And then I was Unity, and then I was, oh, I will need C Sharp for it, and then I will, uh, how do I make models? Oh, it's Blender, and I'm learning. I'm learning all of these things. I'm, I'm just grabbing them and trying to use everything. 
So I'm also very new in all of this. That's why I like this code. You can probably do it better, but I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> it works for me. <clears throat> so there we have this. Um, now, if extend is on, we are moving to the position uh, extended vector. If extend is off, meaning else, we are moving to the retracted vector. That's it already should be. If I save this, I'll put that to the side here. And Russia. <laughs> I'm welcome in Russia. I have never been to Russia. Interesting. I've been to like like Asia as a total. I've been a couple of times, um, but not to Russia. So now we've got this. This is going to look very chunky probably right now. I've got the slide. It has the script. If I click on extend, it should move. Also in Algeria. <laughs> hey, there's so many countries. I can visit the world. Yay. <laughs> Hey, Andre, uh, you're welcome. Uh, look out for here Thursday tomorrow, where we are going to take part two of uh, faceplates. So let's see what happens if I press extend. I, I'm I'm sure it's not going to look good. Oh, it's just the other way. You see it? That's pretty neat. That's okay. I could already control this using a PLC. God, I have not connected it right now. So all that I need to do is actually the stroke. I need to change it. I need to make it smaller and in the op opposite way. Maybe like this. What? Oh, that won't work. That won't work because um, I only do it once in the start. I only check for this in the start. So I need to restart this thing. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. So let's do it. Let's make this minus 0 0.5. And the speed was fine, I would say. No, I, I've never been. I, I worked as a like engineer, that oh, but only for a year. Um, and then I worked in training for almost all my life now. Well, that is... The distance is too, too far away. Oh, you see it. It goes to that position there. It goes to 0 0.5. Oh, it doesn't start at zero. Oh, it doesn't start at zero. I know why. It is actually at zero six. If I put it to zero, it is already there somewhere. Like the zero point, you see it. The zero point is there, which is wrong. I need to correct this zero point. Right now, the zero point meets traveling the world. <laughs> I don't really like traveling too much. Like I'm... Um, hello from Cape Town. That sounds... Cape Town sounds awesome. Uh, I've never been there. Um... Uh, traveling the world, I have traveled for in, for my job. That's also why my English is okay-ish, because I've traveled a lot for my job. Um, I haven't, this year, I haven't been traveling much. Oh, who would have guessed with all the lockdowns and travel bans and stuff. Um, but yeah, I still, I will still travel a lot, even later on in my career, probably. I don't like traveling too much, though. Well, I'm always sitting at my desk at home. That's awesome. That's the best. <laughs> um, yeah, so the, the problem right now is, like, if I click on that cube here, you see that the, the center point is this orange dot. See it? The orange dot, and that is wrong. That is so wrong. The center point should be at the center of the component, of course. So I can change it, hitting... Um, I don't... Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> Uh, not hitting something, but clicking on it, object, uh, set origin, origin to geometry. And that will set the center point to the center of it. So that should be okay now, I assume. It looks like nothing has changed here. Well, now it's all at strange things here. Let's see if that works out. Now it's going to be even crazier, actually. Oh yeah, it's traveling like somewhere else. Ah, it's still it's because of the parent. Um, Kusala, we are creating Kusala. We are creating like a bottle filling line. Uh, you see that in the back there, like a line that fills bottles, the machine. And um, yeah, we are right now doing that slide that goes down into the bottle and then fills it and then goes back up. 
there we go. Uh, ba -ba -da 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 -da. That slide is in the no, it needs to go there. So I'm pretty new. Sorry for that. I'm, I'm also learning, as I said, I'm still learning Blender. So now we have this and you see now this line actually indicates that it is part of this huge thing. I think now it could be fixed. <laughs> Hi Reza. Hello. Guten Abend. <laughs> yeah, that now it lays on the ground. That's always a good indicator because that is how, um, what are those Blender parts look like in Unity. I don't know why. They did it, but that's annoying. That's okay. That should still be at zero, zero. Position is strange. Why is the position so strange? <laughs> what? Wait, no. Wait, no. I'm uh, sorry. I'm also trying around. Like, I'm trying out. Because that is wrong. It shouldn't be like going there it should be its own thing so it should be its own thing and it should be centered there why is it not huh <laughs> yeah that's the welcome to the world of programming uh where nothing makes sense what you, there I mean, that's the center isn't it you're learning and I'm having fun. I'm, I'm just streaming. The problem, and now it's laying on the ground again. I'll just, uh, I'll just delete you. I'll just grab a new one. Cause that's always annoying. That should be standing around. Yep. The only problem is that this thing now, this thing here, it's not at zero, zero, zero. Why is it not at zero, zero, zero? Oh, because it's not parented. It needs to be parented. It needs to be parented to this thing. Uh, and you see me struggling, which is always, which is always quite interesting to see someone that's kind of experienced struggling. Um, because right now I know the problem is Blender. I had that problem with the mixing tank, but I don't know how I fixed it. <laughs> um, no, this needs to be, wait a second, to be parented. No, it's not parent yet. No. Cube has those. Wait, let me just quickly check my mixing tank. Where is it there? No. A mixing tank. Boop. And now we have a mixing tank. We a um it has the tank, and the tank has the mixer as a child. So yeah, that should so this thing also needs to be a child of it. Oh uh, yeah, that's happiness. <laughs> if it works in the end, you know, if it works, yes. If it doesn't work, no way. <laughs> um, so there we go. So this needs to be a child of that one. That is okay. Oh, wait. I think that is it. I think that is okay. This thing is gonna turn around. No, <laughs> it just it just falls flat like plop. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, bloop, stand up, please. So let me check with the mixing tank again. Actually, if that is the case here, is that oh this is not at zero zero zero. Oh, I'm an idiot. It makes sense. I need to remember the position of it. So I need to store the start position. And always go from that position, which I thought I had distorted. Yeah, I have. It's the local position. It's the local. It's always the local position. That makes sense. No, it's the local. Local position means go from from where you are right now. Um, let me just check out something. But yeah, it's, it's so much fun creating the software, right? It's just, 
like doing it and just going out there and, and programming. I haven't been programming like in ages, feels like. The audio stream is zero. Like, can you still hear me? Probably can. So here we go. Got this, got that. Um, so the retracted vector is exactly this stuff. That is okay. That's the position where we want to go to. Like this is our start position. You can see it up there. The problem is if we go there, we, we go exactly to zero, one, zero. That is not correct. We want to go to exactly this and this and this. That is where we want to go. So now it should. <laughs> the only problem is that it's Y and Z is flipped. Okay. But now it moves correctly. So we need to go from the from those positions. So there we go. I just don't know how. Can I add two vectors? Can I add can I simply add two vectors in Unity? Uh extended no retracted vector plus is that a possibility that might be a possibility that that could work but the only problem is now this should be z direction and not y man i'm struggling <laughs> that is really that is why i'm not working as a programmer because i have to test out so many things until i get to the final result um That looks okay, but the stroke. So, good, we almost have it. Uh, you always wonder, how did I learn to speak English? Um, good question. In Germany, you learn English from third grade. So when you are a ten, nine years old. So from nine years old to being 17, 18 years old, I always had English in school. So that's like seven years of English. <laughs> what did I say? Ish. Seven years of English in school-ish. Um, and then I do a lot of things on the internet, watching videos, watching movies, TV series, all in English. Um, and also my education. Like my study program was partly in English. So that's where I got most of my knowledge. And then I traveled a lot for my job. And then, then it was really more and more. I, I just used English a lot. And also one thing why I did, why I started, <laughs> one thing why I started doing the videos is in my job, um, I didn't really taught much anymore. Like, like in English, I, I it was more and more German here, a little bit organization and stuff there i wasn't doing much in english anymore except when some emails and some lessons um that's why i thought hey i need to keep my english level high so what do i do i i started making videos um and then well i kept doing videos to keep my english level high and also my technical level and, and it's just it's just using it it's just using english and i want to keep it pretty well because english is an important language uh Hey, Buki Lead. Uh, greetings from Croatia. <laughs> hey, greetings back from uh, Germany. So uh, we could just do that. We can just take that out here and put it in the update. And now it is. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. That's always a new one. Can I just do this? Uh, can I just do. That stuff? Does it need to be a new one now? No. Oh, yeah, it needs to. How do I assign a vector? <laughs> can I do a dot here? Dot XYZ. I can assign the XYZ. So the Z should be stroke. Uh, that's it. Whoops. So now. It's updating even when I'm changing it in the program, which was kind of annoying right now because it wasn't. So I saved it here. I'll start it here. And now it should work. Maybe I'll extend it. It goes up, which we can change now with the stroke. 
It should go up not that much anymore. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks nice. <laughs> up, down, up, down. Um, and also going down now by some. That's way too much. So it should be like 0, 2, which is 20 centimeters. This is like in meters-ish. Meters-ish. That's how I designed this here. Um, that's fine. It goes in the bottle. It can't be too much, like maybe even 15 centimeters um, because it just puts something a little bit in a bottle. Maybe even 10. Maybe 10 centimeters is good. That, sound, that looks nice. Let's just make that minus 0 0.1, I said. Um, minus 0 0.1 as a standard. I will also change that in my script here. Stroke is... Minus 0 0.1. And there we go. That is it already. I will now hook it up to the PLC and see if that works. And then we can basically put things in bottles already. Kinda. <laughs> Let's see. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Oh, my Russian is pretty bad. And a Cyrillic, I can't read any Cyrillics. I had French in school, French and English. So that's the languages I can go with, and German, of course. Blip, 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 blip. Uh, let's hook it up to a PLC. Let's see if that works. I already have one here in the project. I don't. I thought I have one in here. There is one. There's a PLC. Oh, no, it needs to be PLC output, right? Um, PLC output, that's how I designed it. It needs to be a PLC output. And that PLC output is connected to a PLC that I already have. And right now it will be PLC output 00. I don't have anything else in this room right now. That's it. That's all I needed to connect it to PLC. Done. Let's see if that works. So this will now go... Oh! <laughs> yeah, no, it won't. Because I have this and I have not embedded the PLC here. <laughs> um, uh, we will just do this. Um, extend is equal to the output status of my PLC, which is PLC output dot, no, status? Uh, output status, that's how I called it. That's it. Okay, now. Now it should react on the uh, PLC already. Let's hook it up to Tia. Man, there's something going... Oh, uh, what? PLC output? Why is that not linked here? Didn't I link it earlier? Good. Now this shouldn't work anymore if I press extend here because it's being overwritten by the script that I have here. So simulation on. and uh, Simulation status, I can change it here. Uh, but I don't want to simulate it. I want to go with Tia Portal. There we have it. Tia Portal. Good old Tia Portal. And let's turn it on and off. You are very welcome. And I like to share my knowledge. <laughs> so that is Q00. Output 0, 0.0. And if we turn that on and off, this should move up and down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. See? Whoop, -doo 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 -doo. So it works already. Already. Like, I spent, what? what is it? 30 minutes even? Is it? Ah, uh, even 48. But I've been talking a lot as well. See, and this, now we could put things on there that go into the bottles. Right? Which I won't right now because, hey, that's just design. And I don't want to design right now. I want to program a bit to let you, to, to show you how... The programming, programming behind this looks like, um, yeah, that's been fun. <laughs> that's actually been fun. I still don't, <laughs> Putin, <laughs> Putin, <laughs> I still don't speak Russian, but I have deep respect for Putin, I gotta say. Um, not political or so, but the man, I, or I don't know for political sense, but the man is just, he's a man. I like that. He's, well, that sounded strange. Not in that sense. He's like a role model. Arabic at 6, French at 10, and English at 14. 
Wow, four languages. I can speak. I can speak one fluent. I speak broken English, um, and that's it. Maybe I'll understand a bit of French and Spanish, but not much. Not much. Good. So now that we have this. Yeah, something I prepared yesterday. Look at this. Look at how pretty and beautiful this is. I already prepared. What? Where is it? Come here. What? Why doesn't it? Don't tell me this one does not have. It has a mesh renderer, but it does not have a mesh collider. No, that's fine. So let's come bottle. <laughs> Look at my little bottle. I created this bottle yesterday. Ain't that pretty? Look at the little bottle. <laughs> that really looks like a bottle. Like I, I, it only took like fifteen minutes or so to make it, um, but that looks like a li little bottle. And those should move. Like they should move on this slide here. That will be a conveyor in the end. So they should move on that conveyor thingy. Um, so we will need to make that conveyor thingy, which I'll do now. When CC and Tia. There's a there's a lot of videos about that I made and tomorrow there's gonna be a video about it. Very welcome, Sammy. Um, so in Unity, let's make that little um, let's let's add a little conveyor thingy. It's a nice bottle, isn't it, Rob? Hey, Rob. <laughs> it really looks like a bottle. Like when I did it yesterday, I was like, that was easy. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta show it to you. I gotta show it to you. Recent ones, bottle. There it is. Look at this bottle. Like I can even go in render mode. I can make it. Just look at it. Just wait. That doesn't look at right. If I render it, it's gonna take a minute. <laughs> but look at my render of the bottle that I did in like fifteen minutes yesterday. I love Blender. I have never done much three D stuff in my life, but I love creating this stuff. Look at this bottle. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like, it's perfect. <laughs> and I want things to go in there and fill it up, right? That's 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 how it is. Um, oh, the broken 1200. I still have it in my cabinet. I haven't gotten any um, components yet. I don't even have a soldering iron at home. Look at the bottle. That That's a pretty bottle, isn't it? <laughs> Look at the render. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh. That's so pretty. Um, good. I just <laughs> took like not even 15 minutes making it. I don't the mixing tank. I want to go with the um, bottle filling machine. There you go. So the bottles should go on this thing that's going to be a conveyor. I do not have a soldering iron here. I don't know why. I never got one. Like I have a lot of stuff here. Like if I look in there. Yeah, I, I could just, like, in my drawer here, yeah, I even have a multimeter in my drawer. I don't know why. Our batteries are empty. Um, what else do I have? What's this? <laughs> just in my drawer. Look at this. <laughs> Wait, can you see? <laughs> Stuff that I have in my drawer. Look at this Chinese money. 20 who are, yuan? <laughs> That's the stuff I have in my drawer. What is this? Oh, there's more. Why do I have so much Chinese money? Don't worry. It's it's or it's been in there for a year or so, so it's safe. There's no virus involved. What else do I have here? Oh my goodness. Yeah, but I don't have a solder soldering iron at home. I sh and I don't really want to use it at home actually. <clears throat> So, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> I should, like, do you, every man has this, right? Ev everyone has, like, at least one drawer with old technology that he never uses, but he still keeps it. I have, like, five of these. I might even have a soldering iron, but I I wouldn't know because it's in there. Yeah, I also have euros, of course, but not on not on here. It's somewhere else. I keep the important Chinese money on in my drawer here. There's also some dollars in there somewhere. There's also Indian rupees in there. So there, there's stuff in there. <laughs> um, so let's do this. Let's. I want to have a little conveyor on top of this here, right? A little like conveyor, conveyor. Um, 
So there we there, let's let's make this. Um, bloop, bloop, bloop. So I select this whole thing here up top. So I have to repair it. Oh, I know it's it's nice, but I have yeah I've got a 1500, so I I will repair it at some point. But nah, I'm way too lazy right now. So I'll just put a little like a little uh, layer up there. That will be the conveyor, like just a little bit, just a little bit. So I can make animations and stuff on it as well, um, which I won't, of course, right now. But that's what we have. That's probably already too big. Just one, like pretty little, like like, like a, a conveyor belt, right? A conveyor belt. Um, but the thing is, I want this all separated as a separate object. All selected is all selected. Yeah. So all of this should be a separate object again, which is mesh. Uh, where is it? A separate selection. So now it's an it's its own object now. So I can select it, and now you see this is, but this is now somehow open. So I don't want this open. So I'll select it, hit F, and now it's closed again. Use servos for the filler. Maybe may, it might be a good idea. It might be a good idea. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'll put it. I'll put it. It's in my head now. So maybe ah, that's really a good idea, actually. So let's take the this one here. And uh, the problem that ha that this has right now is that it is also open. So let's get this. Let's hit F and it's closed again. And let's get rid of those little loops here. Mm. Uh, limit dissolve. I'll limit it dissolve. Can I just select two actually? Oh, I can. That's great. So now this is this conveyor belt, right? The little conveyor belt that we have. Uh, this will go in here. And I'll call it conveyor. Let's give it a different color. Let's give it, whoops. Different, whoops. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. In edit mode. Oh, that's why. So that new material that is going to be conveyor, and I'll just paint it almost black. There we go. Good. Got it. Got it. So now we have this little conveyor should show up up top here. There we have it. Little little conveyor. Good. <laughs> And now this should move along the conveyor like this, right? It should move along the conveyor. Of course, it should stop here somewhere in the center and stuff, but it should move along the conveyor. So um, this conveyor needs a lot of things. It needs a lot of things. Uh, the first thing I... Oh, these feet are still called foot one. It uh, doesn't matter. Uh, this first of all needs a mesh collider. Mesh collider so that things don't fall through, right? Now the bottle can't, like, like without it, Let's see, I don't have it activated right now, so the bottle will fall. <laughs> it will not fall through because it doesn't use gravity. <clears throat> Mesh collider and rigid body. No, no, that's not what I wanted. Rigid body. There we go. Um, so now it should fall through. That's quite the problem there. Oh wait, no, I hit, need to hit this. It still fell through. Do you see it? It's inside the conveyor there. It shouldn't be inside the conveyor. It should float atop of it. Like it should be on the black part. It fell through the black part um, because the black part right now does not have this mesh collider. Now it has this mesh collider. And now you will see bloop, it sits on top of the conveyor which is exactly what we wanted so that's fine but it's not moving move of course we need to make a script for it let's make a script for it that shouldn't be too difficult uh good for automation letter function block diagram of course um 
I would say um, S SCL. SCL is quite World of Tanks. I, 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 I right now just see World of Tanks. Why? Um, uh, SCL is quite important and also STL, but STL is getting less and less important. Um, I would say SCL is rather important if, it, if you're talking about PLCs. Um, the thing is, once you understand one programming language, all the others, they are just different versions of the same thing. You're trying to achieve the same thing. That's why for me, it took like one week to learn um, to learn uh, Unity and, or C Sharp there uh, because they're all kind of, they have the same idea behind and an if condition is an if condition, however it looks like. Um, Python, C Sharp, I, well, they're good to know anyway. Um, but I would say for automation, for industry, it's really uh, S SCL, ladder logic, and function block diagram. Special applications, of course, have special languages. So I, I Python, yeah, try try getting into Python. Oh, that is like the most powerful language there is. Like like it's being used a lot now. Like good old Java, ten years ago when I was young. <laughs> That's why I started with Java, which is. Something that also actually helped me um, in day-to-day -day office life was, um, what is it? Was it Visual Basic? I think Visual Basic. I, I don't know it by heart. I have, have done it in 10 years. Visual Basic, like programming with Excel and PowerPoint and stuff like that. Yeah, Visual Basic. And that also helped me a bit, but I don't recommend learning it because it's stupid. <laughs> Integrate SQL. Oh, uh, that's a very special application. Maybe I will. Maybe I will integrate SQL at some point. Um, I wanted to actually today, like a uh, funny story. I watched like a part of a video where a PLC sent data to Excel, and I was like, yeah, that is. Why would you do that? <laughs> but something like that might might be. You started in basic on Commodore 64 and then 1982. I also learned basic. First programming language I learned was basic. Um, no, first programming language I learned was Turbo Pascal. Is that still a thing? Turbo Pascal. Turbo Pascal. <laughs> um, Uh, that makes sense. SQL, I agree. Farid, I agree with um, SQL. Makes sense. Excel, ah, not so much, because you were talking. You would be talking about huge data uh, amounts of data. Pascal, isn't it Turbo Pascal? I thought I always thought it was Turbo Pascal. Is that just a different version of? It? Yeah, that that's there. That stuff. I I learned that stuff. Ah, oh, awesome. Awesome. Like this. I even created a game in it. I I still don't. I don't have it anymore. I was so proud. I created like 200 lines of code over a weekend and then it was little, uh, what, what is it? Space Invaders? That was fun. I haven't done that in years. Good. So let's, let's maybe move on. <laughs> so we have this collider here. Um, the problem that is there right now is that um, those two, they are colliding. And um, at some point, this collision won't be there anymore because they are sitting on top of each other. And actually, in Unity, they are slightly floating on top of each other. They are not hitting each other. Um, that's why I will need another trigger to tell if the component is still there. Um, another trigger slightly on top of it. So I'll add a new um, collider, which could be a box collider. That doesn't matter. Um, there is this box collider, you see it? Oh, whoops, not, not the whole thing, just the collider, just the box collider. Um, center, Y, you see, ah, I hate this Y, Z stuff. See this box collider, so it just needs to be a little bit on top. It needs to float on top of this a little bit to tell if the component still hits the conveyor. That's what I did for my other one. It's not the best solution, but that was the quick and easy solution that I came up with. Um, 
And this is a so-called trigger. Trigger means it's not a physical like collision, but a trigger is, it means it is in that zone here. It is in there, the bottle is in there. Um, yeah. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> um, now we will need a script. I'll call that, what did I, bottle filling conveyor. We'll make that as a new script, right? And this new script will um, just move that bottle along the axis here. What is the object reference not set? I don't care. What is that error? It's okay. <clears throat> So we could just simply test actually if this is hitting by making a small script, by making some small adjustment in there. Uh, and there we have this one, right? This is the new script that we have. It is empty. And we need to add like a conveyor behavior, which I already have for my conveyor system. So I'll copy and paste the same stuff that we already made with the cylinder there. Scripts, conveyor somewhere. I have a conveyor somewhere. Actuator, conveyor there. Oh yeah, <laughs> maybe interesting with the conveyor. Look at all this. I, I tested like a lot of things. How is the best movement and stuff. And that's where that's why I came up with this trigger sitting on top of the conveyor. I tested around for probably like two hours. I would, even, I would say it's been two hours. Yeah. But I tested around a lot with especially this. So let's do this. Uh, we have the bottle filling conveyor and there we will need the following. I'll just have something called the speed again. So we will put the speed in here. Um, 0 0.5 meaning 0 0.5 meters per second ish, depending on the actual time scaling here. Uh, we will need the current speed of the conveyor to tell the component how fast it is, which starts at zero because it's off. Um, and I, I can't remember why I have these. I'll just put them here. <laughs> oh, you actually started yesterday with SQL service. I'll probably, I'll do it at some time, but not, not, not the next week or two. Hello, mister. I can't read your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, welcome back, boss. Did you finish working? <laughs> or are you still working? <laughs> which is which would be fine. I don't, I don't mind. So, um, simple thing. What I did here is actually what we did earlier with the, uh, if you remember, with the vector going zero zero and then direction or something we can also just write transform right means it's going if we look at the coordinate system like if i look at this thing you see the red line this is pointing right opposite direction would be left this would be back this would be front this would be up this would be down so i can just write right i could also write uh one zero zero that would be the same vector I think, <laughs> I think that's what it is. <laughs> pretty certain, pretty sure. Then we don't need this. I mean, we, we will need this update, but we will need another um, method that is called on trigger stay. As long as something is in that area that we have put on top of the conveyor, as long as something is in there, something should happen. Uh, PSC programming education. It highly depends on the education. Highly depends. Like most, most don't have PSC programming. That's a pretty special field, actually. Um, uh, mine was like I had it for two semesters and two weeks an hour and always together on a, at a system like we had a training system from amatrol and um uh let's see 
yeah, we had this training system in our school. Uh, and we, I was always, it was always group work. Like you can separate, you can split those modules into different stations. And um, yeah, I basically spent two to three hours a week on one of these stations over two semesters. That's it. Of course, then some theory lessons in the classroom and stuff, but nothing really special. That's pretty much it. So what we're doing here is um, just because I copied and pasted. On a trigger stay uh, needs something that goes in there. And this one has collider workpiece. So if there is a workpiece in there, right, um, then do something with this. Right? And I can do workpiece get component rigid body. That means we're getting the physical component of it. And what, what are we doing? We're translating it, we're transforming it, we're translating, we're pushing it in one direction and we're pushing it in the belt vector direction. Just right now, zero, 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 that won't work. So we still need to change that belt vector. And that belt vector is dependent on if the belt is on or off, which I will just copy and paste from the other program I have. Here we go. I could have just taken the conveyor thingy actually. See this? Uh, it's not motor forward. Oh, this only has a forward. We will need another bit. That is um, bool. Uh, no, public bool forward. And forward means um, hey, the belt is on. If it's off, it's off. That's it. <laughs> Actually, could put that easier, but that's okay. Because this thing does not need to go um, back. If not forward, I can put an else statement. Because the other one needed to go back and forth. I don't need you, I don't need you, I need you, I need you. Current speed is zero. Um, you mean that in my country you can choose profession? I'm a hacker. Nightbot, definitely I'm a hacker. I'm the worst hacker that, that has ever been. <laughs> uh, math, physics, drawing, schematics. Uh, I think here it is that like we have standardized study programs throughout whole Europe pretty much. Um, and there's the bachelor's degree like like a couple of years ago i don't know how many years ago probably five ten years ago or so they they standardized it throughout europe a bit a little bit um and the bachelor's program is pretty much three years and you need so many credits meaning hours in the classroom and stuff so it's quite a complex system but it's 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 so much standardized i just teach in there i don't care about it anymore <laughs> Two semesters on what? <laughs> Conrad, that is terrible. <laughs> but that is how school is sometimes. Turning on, you don't need a PLC if you just want to turn on light bulbs. That is useless. So we have this forward. So let's see if that works. That should already work, actually. I think. Hello, Nu Yen. Nui Koi? Yeah, I, I can't pronounce any names. I'm sorry if I pronounce names wrong. That's how it is. <laughs> so we have this uh, conveyor here, and there we have the conveyor. And if I press it, oh, it's actually the other way around. <laughs> That's reverse. So it doesn't go forward, it needs to go reverse. Because I flipped the dimensions for whatever reason, it's flipped. I don't care. Uh, it's. Well, I can just. Put that in somewhere, I'll think. Why does it? Are you seeing this direction anyway? I'm not even using this direction. Why am I not using this direction? Interesting. Current speed. There. No, this is here. So this just needs to be... Oh, let's make this a negative. I don't care. 0 0.5 was way too fast. Make Let's make it 0 0.1. So like a coin, man. Coin. Coin. Hello, coin. <laughs> ah, it's difficult for me. Can I, can I have a rootkit? No, I can't. I, I'm not a hacker. You just called me a hacker. I'm definitely not a hacker. 
not not even in the slightest the biggest hacking actions that i did was back when i was still a teenager uh, on LAN parties i was opening and closing the cd drive of of friends and so through the network oh that was it <laughs> must travel like fifo like first in first out or what what is fifo Uh, let's see. Bloop. Look at this. That's good, isn't it? Here we go. It travels. I mean, it can only go forward, but I only want this conveyor to go forward. And bloop. <laughs> Bottle is broken. Good. Perfect. So what do we need to do? Uh, make a basic configuration installation of Unity. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. After Roman, maybe, maybe I'll make it in the future, but I have not done that. I'm just doing this uh, for fun right now. I might make videos on it, but I'm I'm always like two videos a week. It doesn't seem much like Tier Tuesday, Tier Thursday, but it is actually a lot because I'm preparing those videos. It's always like probably I'm spending a total of three hours on every video I make, probably in total, like thinking about it, testing it, uh, making the video, uploading it, uh, making a picture for it. All that stuff, like this, this always takes some time. So it is already like six hours for a hobby and plus creating the tool and stuff. It's already a lot of work. I, I, I want to make tutorials on Unity and uh, C Sharp and stuff as well, but I'll take it slow. <laughs> I'll take it slow. Um, so there we go. I don't need this. That's nonsense. I don't need this anymore, this anymore. Am I actually using this in the other script? Direction? No, I'm not. Could get rid of it. Oh, that's interesting. So, um, sorry, I was doing something on the side there. Uh, what did I want to do? Oh, we need the PLC. Of course, we need a PLC input. So, uh, we will need a public PLC output. So, we need an input from the PLC, which is for the PLC, a PLC output. And then we control the, here it is not this forward thing anymore. Right. Uh, actually, I'll, no, I don't want this. We don't need this forward. This should be PLC output dot output status done. Not this anymore. Yeah, you're very welcome. It's also fun. It's not like I'm just doing these and not enjoying it or anything. I could stop any day and, but it's still fun. So why would I? Um, that's it. We need the PLC. That's it. We're done. Now I just need to configure it in the software here. So I need to add the output on here. So this needs an output. No, I think it's hidden behind me now. There, PLC output. We already have output 00. So this will be output 01. It will go to PLC 1500. And it will also go in the conveyor here. That's it. That's it. Guys, I think I won't stop. No, I'm not stopping. Uh, no one said I'm going to stop. So that's it. Let's do this. Let's press play. Let's go there. Let's look at it. Ah, oh, that bottle is pretty, isn't it? <laughs> um, tier portal. Output 00, output zero 01. Let's see. Let's see if this works. It should. So if I turn on output zero, uh, control F2 turns it on. You see the bottle is traveling, bottle is traveling. It goes somewhere. There should be a sensor, so I will add a sensor here. So that's the first bottle, and then we would need a second, third, and fourth, and so on. There's going to be a counter. And now, bloop, it's being filled. Bloop, 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 bloop. It's done. Go up and go on. <laughs> and process is done. <laughs> of course, there's still much more. There's still going to be much more. Is the bottle like that? It's there. It's broken. Oh, no. Wait a second. Ah, this is going to be workpiece and done. Now I can pick it up, I think, if my script is correct. Yeah, I can pick it up now. <laughs> Look at my bottle. <laughs> I can also put it back on. Let's put it back on. Oh, boop. <laughs> okay, now I'm just fooling around. That's awesome. Uh, I learned already a lot from you big thumbs up thank you very welcome good question uh i'm jaro <laughs> uh what there come here 
I can't touch it anymore. There I go. What? Some of the collider of it is broken a bit, I think. Is it? Seems off. Yeah, the collider is strange. Why is it? Oh, is it? Ah, oh, it's a rigid body, right? Ah, uh, mm. mm. The rigid body sometimes messes up everything in it. Especially if you pick it up and stuff. Um, uh, Anjara, I am teaching those courses as well. <laughs> At least the level one. Um, they're quite good. Let me say they're quite good. So I recommend taking them. If they're worth the money, that's always to decide. But for industry courses, they are pretty good. They are really good. Like the quality is very good. I, I would recommend it. Um, for if you if your boss sends you there if it's for your job definitely a hundred percent yes if it's on your own that's rather expensive probably so it's difficult to say actually i hope versus unity compiler i just scl to letter conversion no i no scl and letter they're different i don't know if there's one don't stop. I won't stop. <laughs> it is not beer, boss. It is not. It's still not beer. <laughs> I, I just realized what's wrong with the um, with the collider there. The problem is if it's on there and I take it off, like if I'm taking it away, the collider is still connected. Like the bottle is still connected to the... Um, to the belt which is a problem but not one that i'm gonna fix now because right now it's gonna be fine it's just that two things are acting on the same component and basically ripping the rigid body component from the um from the physical thing here that's interesting i didn't even know that is possible because if i'm gonna do this now you will see on top the position changes right now and it's f it's even floating now <laughs> oh yeah that 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 i need to ch adapt it somehow but i won't right now it's really strange is that the same form of my other conveyor i don't know i don't want to test it i don't want to test and see and if i would just cry if that's also the case for the other one because that is okay. Yeah, it is also Voss. Yes, you get, uh, you get, it's not a, you can get after making all three levels, you can go for a test and get a certificate. But um, just by doing the trainings, you can get like a participation certificate. <laughs> now I'm just fooling around here. <laughs> So five bottles. Oh no, tear portal. Quick, 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 quick. Uh, off. Uh, fill them. Done and gone. <laughs> okay, now I'm just fooling around. <clears throat> it's still strange that the collide that that the rigid body gets separated from the actual body there. Is strange. I don't. I don't. There's. There's a lot to it. Good. So now we have a bottle filling machine. Like the very basics of a bottle filling machine. Of course, there is more to it. But right now, that is that is all we need. That's already like we started at nothing. We had nothing in the beginning. We had this gray block. That's that's the only thing. But that gray block doesn't do anything. But now we can already do this. <laughs> Which is something. Which is something. So yep. There we go. Oh, did oh, one already? One already fell. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Yeah, l last month we had dancing cubes. Now we have bottles. Like I can do. Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> I could basically play bowling. 
<laughs> let's <laughs> i won't play bowling right now but i could i could uh yeah <clears throat> unreal engine 5 uh it definitely can conrad yes 100% i'm 100% certain it can because you can also import scripts right like scripting languages like c sharp and um what is this one this one was uh i forgot the what what was it i think is it how is it called uh json no dot net it can use dot net things right and s7 net plus is a dot net thing and there's way more there's way more so yes 100 percent. i mean i won't do it but possible <laughs> i'm just having fun <laughs> <laughs> uh sorry <laughs> uh, <clears throat> <laughs> okay that's good that's good so let's save the project control s um that's good and i'm i'm gonna do it i'm i i have to do it um control duplicate 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 Duplicate. <laughs> Duplicate. <laughs> okay, that's more than enough. That's all we need. That's all we need. Go on. <laughs> I, I don't know if my PC is going to make it. Oh, that, that actually, that was easy. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> uh, and tier in the future for VBS scripts? Maybe, maybe. Kind of a warehouse. It could be, it could be, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, let's put those on a table, actually. I think I have made a table. Yeah, there's tables. Table, this one here. I think this is the one I made, so let's take this. It is, what, does not have a collider? Are you kidding me? Belt? It has a collider, but why is it? I don't care. Um, rotation, no position, no scale. Um what i don't know why it moves but okay <laughs> now we have this huge table and there's gonna be thousands of bottles on it <laughs> oh they even fell through <laughs> look at the vibration <laughs> it's too much it can't handle it <laughs> uh come on i'll just grab one of these i'll just put it on there and that's fine. This is this is all we need. Like, go on, little bottle, live your life. The rest don't care about your brothers and sisters there on the table. Oh no, it's stuck. It's stuck. Oh no, it's stuck. It's broken. I broke everything. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Oh god, it's still an early. It's early version. Oh, one fell from the table. There, there. Why is the table vibrating? Oh, I think I know why. It's on. It's in the ground, isn't it? No, I don't know why. It's probably because the bottles. There's there's some interaction be between the table and the bottles. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'll just I'll just you you didn't see that you didn't see that. I'm just fooling around. Um, those be gone. Those be gone. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's how it is. Like, but now you didn't see it. No, no, this is fine. Oh, uh, bottle. You go. No, there was only one bottle. What what do you mean a hundred bottles? No, there is definitely not. No, no. That's just one bottle. Nothing more there. That's it. <laughs> See nothing. There was nothing. <clears throat> uh why does the conveyor not work anymore? I broke it. What? Uh ah, this is, no, this needs a trigger actually. Ash Collider, Convex is trigger. No, it should work. There we go. It doesn't travel anymore. Why? I broke it. <laughs> I broke it. No. What? Why? I, I really don't know why it doesn't work anymore. I broke it. You recorded it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Why would you record it? Oh, it's not a rigid body. Uh, it doesn't have physics anymore. I forgot that. Rigid body. There we go. Now we got it. Is it still off? I hope the conveyor is still off. Yes, it is. Okay, now it works again. Yep. Plop, 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 plop. So, good. I mean, we've made some progress, right? We've made some progress. I had some fun, but I will also need to uh, finish for today because I could go on for long, 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 for hours and hours and hours, but that's not the, that's not why we're here. I also need to relax at some point in time. You all, first rule, do not touch working. <laughs> no, I know what I'm doing. So I, I, I know what I'm doing, so I can touch. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, thanks for joining. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and uh, I'll continue with this. I'll probably make another stream or two in the future because that's much fun. Thanks for joining and um, yeah, stay safe, stay healthy and I'll see you next time around tomorrow to your Thursday. Face plates, yay. Bye bye. Next chilling chatting. I'll upload it and next time I will also put in the correct time because YouTube messes it, messes it up. I don't know why. Sometimes YouTube messes it up. I don't know. I'll try to make it correct. So, bye-bye. Thanks for joining. Bye-bye.